Who we have on the show the other weekend, he said, um, look at the Tommy Robinson hardcore base, look at the people on Telegram and look at the people who, who comment on the videos and look at the profile photos and they're all middle-aged men or middle-aged women and Tommy is like some sort of surrogate for a son that they never had because they're all like, it, there must be some sort of like a psychological <laughs> thing going on where they're using Tommy to fill some sort of fucking gap because this guy is no different from who he described. I can't remember who said it, Chris. Can you remember? Was it Horus? Sure, it was Horus. Oh no, was it was it unwashed? Yeah, cult. Um, because well, no, that's what you're saying. You were saying earlier that you yeah. can't bust these people out of it because they formed a relationship with him in their head. There's this very odd pattern of like. I people have yeah no 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 you <laughs> might you, this this might make you all giggle have you noticed the pattern of um like men having midlife crises and becoming massive tommy fans there's a there's a oh. huge there's a huge number of his like biggest supporters the guys that are on the mic are men in their 50s and tommy is about the age that the son they never had would have been <laughs> That is a pattern. Wow. <laughs> I'd love to see the data on this. <laughs> Odds and sods, you're allowed £45 to go in there and buy in all your canteen stuff between three of us. So you was, was you're allowed to buy Tommy Robinson stuff as well, yeah? Yes. We bought Tommy Robinson a lot of stuff, you know. We bought him what's it. He loves crazy. He loves cheese onions. He loves what's it. He loves everything smelly. He loves Diet Coke. He loves Diet Coke. The only thing he's a little bit upset with, he couldn't have pork scratchings. But I do believe with the with the money he has received, so much more could have been done. If I if I if I had that money, uh, like he has, I reckon I could have done a lot more. In my opinion, nothing was done, nothing at all. I mean, Dion's in the yeah. chat right now. If you've seen any of her bit shoot videos on on the money yeah. that these people have wasted, it is it's so criminal. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I, I have seen some of her um, secrets, and these are the things I have put. Um, I was meant to do a debate with one guy. Not going to mention names, and they were talking about. They wanted to um, talk to me about donations I received. I said yes, happily. Can I discuss the donations they've received? And it was shut down. He said, "No, I'm just going to say I don't know nothing about it." And I, I didn't really want to carry on the drama between me and the TR News team or people surrounding mm. me. But uh, there was a debate meant to be happening on uh, Mr. Voodoo Media's channel, and I, it was made to be out like I backed out. It wasn't. It was just because I didn't want a one-way debate. I believe that a debate should be two ways. You should ask your questions. They should ask their questions, and I'd happily do that with anyone. Yeah, they basically right. wanted Chris to sit there while um, they, they threw every accusation about money at him. And they said, well, <laughs> Chris said, well, can I ask any questions about Tommy's funding? And he went, nope, we'll cancel the debate. <laughs> <laughs>